Good morning. It's Wednesday, July 10th, 2024. This is your Georgia WeatherNet morning update. Radar pretty much clear across the state of Georgia at 651. We have a few light showers moving into the southwest corner of the state. They're going to continue to fade out for the next couple of hours, but we see thunderstorms out around Mobile, Gulf Shores, heading toward Pensacola. Those storms are going to hold together and continue to move our direction, so we'll see some showers and thunderstorms mainly along the uh, Georgia-Florida line as we move through the day today, but isolated showers and thunderstorms can't be ruled out anywhere else in the state of Georgia as well. So we do have a rain chance on the board throughout the state, but they'll be very isolated with the exception of those clusters of storms down in South Georgia. No heat advisory today. That's good news, and we're going to continue to improve on our humidity for the next couple of days, which we'll talk about. First of all, our temperatures as we get started this morning, low 70s in parts of North Georgia, mid-70s and upper 70s for the rest of the state. So it is warm out there, and yes, the humidity is a factor today. We'll still have those heat index values at 100 degrees and higher. Upper 90s is what it'll feel like in parts of North Georgia. So let's take a look at the weather model as we get going today, and we'll back this up and start at 8 o'clock this morning. 7 o'clock here is what it looks like. 8, 9, 10, we see those thunderstorms starting to move in, as we uh, talked about there in the Florida Panhandle, cruising into South Georgia. So expect those thunderstorms down in uh, Cairo and Blakely at around uh, late morning, noon time today, around 1 o'clock or so, and then stretching from Albany down to Valdosta. And we see those storms continue to move toward coastal Georgia later this afternoon. Now, this model not rendering those light and scattered thunderstorms around the rest of the state today, but just know that we do have that chance there. They'll be very, very isolated other than those storms there in extreme South Georgia. So just look out for a few of those pop-ups today, but most of us will remain rain-free. Heading into this evening, pretty quiet. So we move toward the uh, late night hours tonight. Still a couple of showers possible in South Georgia. Otherwise, not a big deal. I have a little low-pressure system out in the Atlantic Ocean. That's going to push up a few showers. We see those out there to sea. And then that low pressure will start to move up toward South Carolina through the day tomorrow. That's rising air, so a chance of some showers and a few thunderstorms, mainly in the eastern part of the state tomorrow. Again, our model not showing a whole lot going on, so they'll be very isolated. We head into tomorrow evening, same deal. Fairly quiet, just a couple of scattered showers here and there. Now let's take a look at our uh, dew point forecast for the next couple of days. This gives us an idea of how much moisture is going to be in the atmosphere. We're going to see a big improvement on that. So we start with this morning. When you get those dew point readings in the 70s, that's very uncomfortable. But you can see some drier air starting to move in the northwest Georgia with those mid-60s. Still uncomfortable. But look at this. Our drier air continues to push in this afternoon. So you'll notice a little change up in Rome, up in Blairsville, even in Athens and Metro Atlanta. You're going to say, ah, it feels a little bit better out there. We could do better, and we will as we head into Wednesday. Take a look at this. Dew points dropping down into the 50s. Even have some 40s up in the North Georgia mountains. South Georgia is still going to be showing some 60s and 70s. So that's uh, still going to be fairly uncomfortable, but somewhat noticeable relief from the humidity all the way into the southern part of the state through tomorrow, but looking pretty good Thursday afternoon with those dew point readings into the 40s. So that is uh, pretty nice out there. It'll be a good day to actually go and do some outdoor activities. Still going to be hot with temperatures in the 90s, but with uh, the relief from the humidity, again, it's going to be very noticeable on Thursday and we will take it. Quick check of the tropics just to show you that nothing's going on other than the remnants of Burl, situated right over Fort Wayne, Indiana. That's continuing to track up toward the northeast, heading into Canada. But the rest of the Atlantic Basin, all quiet. No development expected over the next couple of days. That's the latest from the Georgia Weather Net. Now your local forecast from northwest Georgia to southeast Georgia.